What is a gerund? Before we move on to our lesson today, let me congratulate you on finishing learning the noun, adjective, verb, and adverb. This means you have the word level skills that will help you expertly write and observe all the sentences around you at a word level. In the following lesson series, you will have the ability to get the verbal level skills. And that starts with this lesson. What is a gerund? A gerund is one type of verbal. Verbals are words derived from a verb but functions in a sentence not as a verb. Let me give you examples. Traveling, writing, and talking look like verbs on a quick glance. But did you know that all of these words could function not as verbs in a sentence? We are traveling together. Here, traveling originally functions as a verb. Our hobby is traveling. But here, traveling functions as a noun or a gerund. Observe the two sentences carefully. Traveling, in the first sentence tells about the action that the travelers do. We are traveling together. On the second sentence, traveling is more of an idea that they know. Our hobby is traveling. That's the difference between a gerund and a verb. Action verbs show that someone is doing an action. A gerund, although looks exactly like a verb, never tells about the action of someone. Instead, it names a certain concept in a form of a verb. Here are more examples of gerunds in sentences. He loves dancing. Writing is his hobby. Reading expands the mind. Dancing, writing, and reading. All of these words look exactly like verbs. Only when used in a sentence will confirm that they are gerunds. Are you ready to spot gerunds in a sentence? Try the following. The pig started searching for ideas. If you think searching is the gerund, you're right. The word searching is not used as an action. Instead, it names the activity that they do, which makes it a gerund. Searching for ideas. Here are the next examples. Overthinking is not always good. The second pig makes gardening his new pastime. Building a house in brick has been his plan. Because you know the difference between a gerund and a verb, here's what you can try. Think and write three action verbs. Make sure that your verbs end with an ing. After listing down your actions, use them in a sentence as a gerund. For more free grammar lessons, visit grammarhobby.com.